Uh, if you missed that, that's the LOA logo. We're now somewhere. Wow, this map is actually really, really confusing. Like, it shows you Australia and New Zealand, then it shows you a red dot off the map and is like, you're going here, and then, like, where is this? Can you tell me? Like, are we past South America now? South Atlantic, okay. Is Mizuki safe? Yes. She's already working on a plan to rescue Kana. You have a familiar voice, sir. What's your role in all of this, Ishigami? My role? Aren't I the hero? Heh. <laughs> Look, I was as much in the dark as anyone at first. The orders that sent you and Mizuki to London came from above. The enemy had managed to infiltrate our upper ranks. I God. figured there might be some connection between Cliff and LOA, but I couldn't figure out... Just looking at these models and the environment, you're sat there like, the this you expect me to believe that? is a generation I old, or a generation and a right half old, but it well, looks like shit for that generation. It looks like a PS2 game. Is Kana. Kana? Kana? It doesn't make sense. Why would Cliff go to the trouble of bringing her to the Unagi? If he wanted to kidnap her, it would have been easier to do it back in Japan. You have to remind me who the Unagi is. I need her. They may have wanted to get the two together for some Still reason. creepy. Kana and me? In any case, we have to go after them. They're on the Black Narwhal of the U.S. Navy First Fleet. What are you talking about? In what are you talking about? The original First Fleet was absorbed into the Third Fleet. However, the U.S. government secretly reinstated it as a special off-the-books ghost fleet. A fleet that isn't supposed to exist. A mirage. Oh no, it's trying to be Metal Gear Solid. Hayabusa. Mizuki and her sister Saya's father was a colleague and a good friend of mine. I owe him debts that cannot be repaid. I have a duty to protect his family. That was the promise I made to him. I feel like this Help is a whole story that we just didn't see. Sir, a message from Langley. The Black Narwhal has been sighted in waters near French Polynesia. Langley? Why the CIA? The signature's just one word. Sea Swallow. Sea Swallow. Sound familiar, Hayabusa? We no. But the South Pacific is too far. You'll never get there in time. Not even at max airspeed? The cruising speed of the F-25 is Mach 2. Distance is 4,000 kilometers. Not enough fuel range. And there aren't any intermediate airfields between here and there to refuel them. What about carriers? Are there any crossing the flight path? No, there are no friendly ships within range. Not even a wake train. How do you know that? <laughs> we could rendezvous with another plane without How come she land? doesn't know anything and she has to be lectured by the guy with the voice of the ice cream man? What did you say? I said there's a way. What was the name of the guy who played the ice cream man and was an evil speak? Clive Cliff? Ah, oh, I forgot his name. He sounds like that guy. <laughs> Famous character actor. Okay, so now it's telling us that we went over here to go over there. We're almost at Bingo Fuel. Where the hell are they? Visual acquired. Here they come. Sure you want to do this? Yes. <laughs> yes. I feel like I've seen this before. All of this is laughably dumb. But I'll let it play out. It reminds me of Raven's ending in Tekken Dark Resurrection. <laughs> we are like, that's bullshit. Whatever, man. Look at this shit. Ryu, take my hand. Here, quickly. 
I'm glad you don't need to drive this plane. Just take your hands off the console, pop the cockpit whenever. Yay, we did a fucking dumb thing. Robert T. Sturgeon. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> Look, down there. I feel like I'm missing out on so much plot and I played all three Ninja Gaiden games. That's the Black Do I need to play DOA Extreme Volleyball to understand? Recognize the scarf. Yes, Mizuki. They'll show her face in a minute, because apparently she doesn't need oxygen just to show her face. Oh no, no. It's Mizuki though. We gotta go kill these guys. Gonna do that. It's now telling me how to change weapons still. What? <laughs> what the fuck happened? So while all these sound effects are playing and the music is too loud and all the explosions are going off, Ishigami is just muttering in my ear, uh, just do the thing, I fucking guess, and it's like, yeah, I know, it's gonna be linear anyway, so let's not pretend like there's parameters to this mission. Mashing worked. I also healed from the mash. The monster mash. Oh, they must have died. Uh, let's move on. Is it? Oh, it's one of those. Oh. Oh, okay. Slash. Glad I instantly changed to sword for the cutscene. see if I could go up there, but I can't. Although it was a lame-ass attempt. From the back, that guy looks like Rashido. Rashido! Why did he look like that? The US Navy just dressed like Rashid from Street Fighter now. And have giant pods. Doi! Doi, I'm in the US Navy! <laughs> I have my glow sticks. My Navy glow sticks. I'm from Omaha. <laughs> Oh my god, why is everyone in this thing, like, weirdly British-Australian? Who voice acted these people? Why was there only one guy? 
Why did they not spend any money at all on this game? <laughs> did I get that scarab? I might walk by a scarab. We've got a grenade, ninja. <laughs> oh, they didn't want me to do that on the stairs. Just grinding down the stairs. Can't home in on anything until everyone's dead. There we go. just kind of jumping in place and neutral jumping there to get out of my stick. Doria. I don't know what happened, but you're dead. These are the only guys canonically that you can throw a dagger at and they will instantly die. Everyone else you throw shuriken and daggers at, they just go, oh, that didn't do any damage. Oh, that was awkward. <laughs> Just kind of stood uh, slowly shooting at each other for a while there. Dead. Oh, well that just ruined the hype. <laughs> Goes from a sick kill to just smacking my stick against the car door like it's some rumba secondary school rumba class. Did anyone else have that or was my school weird? Either when I was at primary or secondary school they just brought a load of steel drums in and then brought a steel drum instructor in from like I don't even remember if he was Jamaican. I think it was just some white guy. And they were like, we're going to teach you how to play the steel drums in like this very Jamaican style once. <laughs> and then we did it and they were like, yeah, well done everyone. You learn how to play the steel drum. And I'm like, what the fuck? just thinking now to myself about how weird introductions to shit that my <laughs> school would try and do but they'd never committed to anything so it just meant it was really weird where they're like okay we did this thing to try and encourage you about this thing that's like a thing <laughs> and it's like steel drumming Taekwondo, where they for one week decided to try and teach people Taekwondo and then gave up immediately when the, the PE teacher was like, man, I don't want to fucking teach Taekwondo anymore. <laughs> and uh, they brought a semi-famous basketball player to my primary school to teach us basketball and then never taught us basketball ever again at the school because none of the PE teachers wanted to do anything but football and tennis. So it was like, oh man, and this guy came and was like trying to inspire us to play basketball and I was really like kind of in, I was like 10, 11, 12. I thought it'd be fun. And then everyone was like, nah man, I'm not gonna learn basketball. It's not football and we're British. So, yeah. <laughs> and then everyone just kind of forgot. <laughs> Dropped it. Ah, oh, I wish they stopped spamming the rocket launchers. <laughs> Oh, 
Jeez. Please stop hiding behind your fucking glow sticks. We're being spammed by rocket launchers. Is he dead? They love the spam. They sing the spam song. I can hear them. Where are they? Where are these motherfuckers gone? Are they up here? Yeah. Glad the US Navy has all of these jetpacks. That are super weak to singular ar arrow fire. Hmm. Auto aim says go up. Oh. <laughs> Try again. Oh, he, he turned around for no discernible reason. Hey, Burb. I have saved. I'm glad I can just fly, and this is never spoken about. just thinking about how much of a fucking mess uh, <laughs> how much of a mess this story is I'm trying to work out like how regularly the US military has evolved in this story and then it's just like it's the US military oh I will never use that I forgot I got that Um, oh, I cannot fight this guy who is spamming me with fire until all of the random humans, oh, oh, please stop shooting me. My Japanese skin is impervious to bullets, as is the way of the ninja. If you just train really hard and stand under a waterfall, you can just get shot like 35 times and you'll be fine. In fact, that kick did more damage to me than like 50 shots to the head, so... That tells you a lot. I mean, why do we even have guns? I mean, you could just kick dudes and hit them with swords. Seriously, this rocket launcher, fuck. Oh my god. It keeps locking on to dudes who aren't the rocket launcher, fuck. We need to stop the noob tuber. We need to kill him. We're going the wrong way. Ah! Oh. Look at this guy playing his Call of Duty game. Or oh, did you buy that with microtransactions? Are you working with EA? Or Acted Blizzard? <laughs> Whoever the fuck makes those games now. <laughs> I forget. Last... Last Call of Duty I played was Black Ops 1. Yeah. Did they get better or have they just gotten worse? I probably don't care, really. Stabbed. Seriously, who the fuck is just- Oh my god! 
just get these guys out of the way. Hey guys, I'm so glad it healed me. But what did heal me? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was that guy. Please die. I gotta do a sick flip for no one. And now they're dead. I killed them all. Oh, no, I didn't. It's these ass. Yeah, yeah, butt munch. You've got a sword that's frame... comes out of frame one. Good for you. What a butt munch. Oh, I got a dive kick. That's free. That's invincible. Oh, oh that's shit. I'm hitting him, and then he just goes, nah, uh, uh. I can just fucking interrupt with my stupid little scimitar. Or rapier. It's a rapier. My weird officer's sword. Well, at least you're dead. Ow. There's something so unsatisfying about enemies that can, like, while you're still mid-combo, can just hit you out of the combo because they have an attack that comes out on frame one. That guy just keeps doing it. It's just like a light jab. He just keeps, every time there's a slight pause, he goes, heh heh, and just flicks it out. And you're like, what? He keeps doing it. What a chode. Look at this four wrong main. Look at him. Oh, I've got something that beats yours and interrupts. Ha <laughs> ha. That's not how four wrong works, but you know what I mean. Look, he's just spamming light punch. Yeah, that was D. D for suck D's nuts. <laughs> oh, I'm a dumbass. You want to hear some dumbass anti-intellectual fighting game bullshit from one of my friends when we were in college? When I said I played Tekken to him? Oh, shit. Oh! When I said I played Tekken to him and enjoyed it, he was like, Man, I don't play those games, they're fucking dumb. I won just by mashing Light Punch all the time. The enemy couldn't deal with it and I won. These games are stupid and shit. Yeah, let that sink in. Don't know who the fuck he was playing, like his younger brother who was eight? Like, because that doesn't work. <laughs> like, does he work against AI? What the fuck? doesn't work against anyone who knows how to play the game a little bit. That was really extra guy who jumped over my head shooting a submachine gun. <laughs> Please stop spamming me, I'll just shoot you with like arrows until you go away. Look, I'm using the, the scythe. Please light me. <laughs> Sleigh bells jingling. Ring ding dingling. Oh, there you are. Oh. I'm getting stun locked. <laughs> How do you know that? Am I gonna get shot when I jump over this again? Oh no. Save. <laughs> Just wrecking my brain. Oh, cool. Scarab. 
I'm just thinking about all of the times my friends in college said something incredibly like, oh, ow, incredibly stupid about video games and acted like that made them an intellectual. And there's like a, like, I could just run the YouTube account on that, seriously. There was one guy who thought that he was very intelligent for um, understanding Bioshock, but then missing the point of Bioshock entirely. Uh, one of my friends uh, at the time, he honestly believed that Andrew Ryan was actually the good guy and you were tricked into killing the good guy and didn't really understand that like basically everyone in Bioshock is kind of a terrible person like, <laughs> like he legitimately said ah oh, man yeah Andrew Ryan's a great guy so oh you mean that guy who created a libertarian hellscape who let people do horrible vivisection experiments on literal children and got everyone addicted to gene-altering drugs and banned religion. Oh yeah, that's a great guy. What a great guy. Also, it was libertarian right up until he didn't want it to be and then he started banning shit and then it turned into a dictatorship. <laughs> And the fact that it's literally just, like, a lot of shit is just cribs straight off of Ayn Rand. And it's literally, like, a very obvious, like, a lot of stuff is taken directly from Atlas Shrugged. And people are like, I get it, I joined the points together, but none of my friends ever referenced that it was Ayn Rand. Makes it even funnier. <laughs> Am I saying it right? Ayn Rand? Ayn Rand? I only ever see that written. But you know what I mean? I'm an intellectual because I think Andrew Ryan did nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you're a fucking idiot. Or you're a libertarian, but like, you know, that guy was a bit extreme. That's kind of the point. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's the infected, it's the infested chopper. Haha, <laughs> you made your chopper bulletproof, but you didn't make it arrowproof. <laughs> oh, 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 where am I going? Get me off of this ship. Oh. It was the nondescript grey surface amongst the nondescript grey surfaces. Awesome. Oh man. Gen 7 of video games. They dumbed so much stuff down and made it so baby level understanding. And yet still most of my friends in college misunderstood everything. They couldn't understand Bioshock and they thought Fable 2 was high art and you're just like wow you're an intellectual and you're mocking me for playing Call of Duty but like holy shit are you dumb. <laughs> like I'd rather be a dumbass and go I played the game it make the shoot bang go explosion I drove car fast all fun than be a guy who just makes himself look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> so you remember the first mission of this game where we fought one of these dudes and I discovered that I can't physically die on easy mode which is like the most 7th gen hand holding bullshit ever but I'm too lazy and shit at the game to care. Yeah, now we're fighting two of them. In case you didn't realize. And the reason it's like I don't care is because like you're supposed to be hitting them like this. 
So therefore I know we'll give them a spammy area of effect attack like this that just comes out with no warning so you can't evade quickly enough. Also, we'll just spam you with rocket fire constantly for the entire mission. Like, this entire fight is just my earphones blowing out because it's like, do 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 It's like, yeah, we fucking get it, dude. Oh, just let me up the thing. Oh, make it end. Okay, Eggman 1 is down. Let's go after Eggman 2. I'm glad no matter where I am, he can spam me with rocket launcher fire and EMPs. Hmm. None. Just let, let it die. Is that all of them? It is not. God, the spam! <laughs> oh my god! There we go. <laughs> oh. oh. War, indeed. Ah, yes. The U.S. Navy never killed anyone. Leave her out of this. How could a slave of convention and tradition understand? A blood-stained murderer at that. You're literally a CEO. <laughs> Fuck off, Bezos. No blood on my hands directly. What Saban level shit is this? Look at this fucking Power Ranger suit. Oh, also, he's just Magneto but looks like Professor X to just ruin that entire character's design. Now, he can just absorb metal towards himself, but he's a bold man in a wheelchair, you know? Great, you've got a gas hob attached to your arm. Good for you, buddy. A regular engine. Oh god, this is just the engine fight, but in 3D. And I have swords now, instead of Wumpa Fruit. Yeah, you punch that floor. <laughs> A fucking game designer sat there and went, You know, this final boss fight is missing something. We've got the flame hand, we got the electric hand, he's doing some like Michael Jackson ass pose, he looks like a dinosaur. What are we missing? Oh, I know. Constant rocket fire that will hit you all the time. Isn't that fun? Look at this shit. Like he's just casually spamming hidden missile all the time. As a passive. So he's Doctor Doom as well. He's like every thing but worse. His hands look like teasers. He's like an action figure you couldn't sell to kids because it would set them on fire 
and tase them. But it would be very hilarious for a little while. Watching people accidentally tase their older brother. Oh my god. Please leave your hand down for more than one attack. Oh no. Gotta do it again! <laughs> I'm getting like two hits in, oh my god. Oh, it makes me want to cry. Also, no music. I did the music just fail to load, or, or did they think the beautiful orchestral score of endless missile spam noise would be fun? The bum 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 bum. Seriously, where's all the music? There's the music. Oh. <laughs> I just missed. He's eating an airplane. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's happening, buddy. <laughs> Oh, it isn't even his final form. Yay. Oh, I'm glad he can still spam rockets. I mean, what, what would this fight be without him spamming rockets? Also, Loki Butt Rock is playing. Laser. Ineffective laser. I guess I'm hitting the glowy thing. I mean, it's doing damage, so. It's doing a lot of damage. Holy shit. Oh shit, he's got his bee blades out. Dude, it's not 2004 anymore. Wait, no, 2001. <laughs> it's Beyblade. <laughs> this is the, I, I'm saying it, but it, it gives me a lot of Beyblade vibes because a lot of the be beast designs, that's what they were called. Uh, we're kind of like the dragony mech thing that's behind it, and then you've got the spinning tops at the front. So it's kind of like, yeah, this this is like dragoon following the top around. Or Dronza. They were all called something like that. What was that about, man? Why were they called dragoon, Dronza, and Drigger, and the turtle dude? <laughs> <laughs> I can't forget the... I, I forgot the turtle, dude. Like, I'm not an encyclopedia on this shit. But I know a disturbing amount. <laughs> Try as you might. This entire infernal world cannot stop us. Oh, I'm just gonna interrupt you. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill you. We alchemists have studied the works of God. You believe in God, you dumbass. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, you're talking over yourself. He's still having his speech and I've grotted him. Oh, sheesh kebabbed him. We're submerging and he's still sat in the corner going blah, 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 blah. My impressive final speech. Uh, see you in the next part. Jeez.